Come here, young buck. I got something to show you, man. You know, as a young guy, if I would have known these things as a teenager, bro, I'd be unstoppable, man. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never had a mentor. I, ne I, I never paid for that bull crap. Everything that I know, I've learned on my own. And to this day, I still don't. I still feel like I can learn everything on my own, honestly. But if I had somebody tell me this when I was young, bro, like me telling you this right now, not only could you surpass me, bro, the people around you, they won't even be competition, man. Like, you will be unstoppable if you listen to me when I, with what I'm gonna tell you in this video. Starting with, stop caring about passion and care about making more money. And listen, it could be the immigrant in me, honestly. Because when I was young, when I started the business, all I cared about was, right, how do I get out of this situation and how do I get my family out of this? How do I support everyone? That was my mentality. And now it's only magnified, by the way. Now my mentality, as I've grown and now I'm a father, now my mentality has just magnified. So now I'm thinking the same way, but now it's generational, right? Like, all right, shoot, how do I make something where it's like my kid and my kid's kid are solid? That's how I'm thinking, right? Think about the money. Forget about that whole bullcrap, hey, care about your passion or do, do, do what you love, never work a day in your life. That's silly, man. That's silly. Plus, most passions will leave you broke, right? If you really wanted to do your passion, you'd be some sort of hippie painting. Good luck, you'll be broke, right? You, that's the reality. Most passions will leave you broke. Since the dawn of man, since the existence of humanity, work was never supposed to be passionate. Work was work. And then there are your passions. And that's why I'm letting you know this, right? When you focus on, on making money, passions come. You'll pick up snowboarding, right? You'll pick up cycling. You'll pick up pickleball. Now you have the money to do whatever passion you want and you have the time to do so because you focused on work. You focused on the money. Do not look for passion to make you happy. This takes me to number two. Take responsibility for everything. Are you ugly, a loser, fat, skinny, single? unattractive, it's your fault. It's all your fault. Look, as your older brother, I can tell you this from a place of love, it's your fault. If I had a, a little brother that was a little dweeb, a little loser, that couldn't get a girl that was fat, I would look at him straight in the face and be like, yo buddy, it's your fault. I would also tell him how to fix it, all right? Because when you adopt this mentality early, you only have two options, right? When you have a problem in your life, you have two options. Let's say you're poor. Your option is take responsibility, it's your fault, all right, now we fix, or you complain. Those are your two options. You can take option two, and by the way, I'll, I'll give you this. Sometimes your complaints could be valid, right? It could be that you're poor because you live in Section 8 housing, you know, and that's where your parents came from and it's generational. It's valid, right? It could be that you're fat because your genetics, and I don't know, it could be valid. But who cares, right? Because you could spend the next decade crying about it, kicking and screaming, life's not fair, and guess what, you'll still be in the same spot. But if you take responsibility, right, and you look at your life and you're like, at least, I, again, when I used to look at my life, I'm like, man, I'm poor, I'm skinny, and I used to think, and I'm like, yo, and I'm unattractive, I gotta fix all of it, right? I'm a decade later, we're 12 years later, and I've fixed all of it, right? I promise you this, let's say you're poor, let's take the poor example again. If you looked at your life, right, and you said, I'm gonna take responsibility for this. Yes, obviously, I didn't choose to be poor, but I'm gonna take responsibility for this. I am poor now, I will not be poor in the future. And I don't care what your goal is. Let's say your goal is 50K a year, or 100K, or a million a year. I don't care what the number is. If you focus for the next year, and when I say focus, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. For the next 10 years, you focus. And what that means, friends, girlfriend, bro, everything to the side, and every single day of your existence, is zeroed in on this one task. I, bro, it is a guarantee. Nothing in life is 100%, so I'll leave it at 99.9999% guarantee that you will get to your goal. It's a guarantee, which takes you to number three. Your grooming is more important than your style, something that took me a while to understand. Um, let, me get, let me paint a picture for you, right? Let's say you're dressed really well. Nice shirt, load of piana, nice pants, nice boot, nice watch, cool, the whole fit, 20, 30 grand. Awesome. But what if you smell bad? What if you got nasty BO, all right? You got a bad fragrance on you. Just, right, you look messy, you look dirty. Now let's flip it. Skin perfect, you got no acne, it's smooth, right? Your beard's well kept, you got a nice haircut. You smell delicious. And then we went to Walmart, put you in a, in a $40 Walmart fit that's nicely tailored. I promise you, you will beat that guy 
every day of the week. And I did a video on this, by the way, you can Google it, Hugo Boss versus Walmart, where I went to Walmart, bought a Walmart fit, tailored it, looked money, right? Your grooming is more important because it's the vessel. It's the body that carries the clothes. If your grooming's on point, whatever you put on, it's going to look money, bro. And I can help you with one of them. I can help you smelling great, yo. Because honestly, we're gonna change the game. With Santa Lucia, you know I have Santa Lucia. We use fragrances from France, like the oils, best in the world. Like our stuff, bro, smells amazing. But we're gonna change the game, bro. This year, we're gonna push the envelope. This year, our goal is to ship out a new fragrance every month. So every month, we'll be shipping out a new fragrance that's in collaboration with a professional. So for April, we're working with Bowtie Fragrance Reviews. The guy's a gangster, bro. Like if you've seen his YouTube, like his, his palette and taste and notes, amazing. So we've come up with a new fragrance and it's gonna be a set. So it'll have a solid cologne, that way you have something that you can carry and reapply throughout the day. It'll come with a body lotion too, because I've talked about that before. You as a man, you wanna hydrate your skin before you apply your fragrance so it lasts long. Like it'll be a complete set and every month, it'll be a different scent, and they're also limited. Like, this is where it gets me excited. I'm making them extremely limited on purpose because I don't want other people to smell the same. I want it for the select few men that wanna level up, that really wanna smell sexy, that's who I want to wear this fragrance. And, and listen, if you're a subscriber already, a fragrance subscriber of Santa Lucia, you get first dips. You get first dips before pro members, before the launch, you, so you're good which is why I want you to subscribe. I want you to subscribe so bad, I'm gonna give you an, an amazing offer. That way you do not miss, I don't want you to miss out on this, especially if you're one of those dudes that wanna smell great. I want you to click the link down below. If you subscribe today, you're gonna get our, our dark collection of fragrance, and I'm gonna leave it at 50% off, bro. Absolute steal, and guess what? You know what? I'm gonna leave you grandfathered in on that price for the rest of the year. Like, I'm not doing this ever again, bro. I'm also gonna give you a car diffuser. Our car diffuser is 90 bucks. I'm gonna give it for free. You know what? I'm gonna add our day fragrance too. Our new day fragrance, I'm gonna add that for free as well. So you're basically getting four fragrances an absolute steal just by subscribing today. And not only that, you're first in line to get the new one to make sure it doesn't sell out. Bro, that is the offer of a lifetime. If you don't pick it up, I don't even know, man. Click that link down below. Chase me number four. I want you to fail more. You should be excited about your failures. And this is, this is a concept that was hard for me to understand or even grow into. I wanna be honest with you, even to this day, failure is always hard. And I, and I understand this concept really well. You know, but if you're not failing enough, it means you're not pushing the envelope. It means you're not trying hard enough. It means you're not going further than what you think you can. You're staying in your safe zone. And when you do that, you'll never win, man. I'll tell you this. For example, COVID happened four years ago, right? What have you done in the last four years? What have you failed at? Most of you don't even know. When, when another man asks you that question, you wanna have a good story. Oh, I, I lost a couple million here, a couple thousand here, a couple tens of thousands here, right? You wanna have a great story because it shows not only the level you're willing to push in, but also your problem solving skills to get out of it. Which takes me to number five. Stay in great shape, yo, bro. I've been working out since I was 14. I'm 28 now, so what is that? 14 years of working out. And what I've realized is, the earlier you start, I don't care if you're 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, I don't care what age you are, the earlier you start and the longer, not one year in that whole transgression period of mine have I taken a year off. Where I said, you know what, this year, I'm just, I don't even think I've taken a month off. I'm gonna be honest with you. And what ends up happening is that it's ingrained in me. Like working out and, and staying physically fit is now a part of who I am. So now what ends up happening, it doesn't matter, bro. Like it just, it doesn't matter what happens in my life. I have to work out, I have to take care of my body. It's part of me now, right? Strong body, strong mind. Which ultimately takes me to my sixth one, which is start today. Whatever it is, all right? You wanna write a book? You wanna build a business? You wanna become a doctor, you wanna become an athlete, you wanna lose weight, start today. Right? There's this great proverb that says, you know, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. Whatever it is, and I'm speaking from experience, bro, I had this business, man, I remember. About four years ago, I had this business. And I didn't start it because I thought I was inadequate. I was like, yo, I, th these are skill sets I do not have. So you know what? Let me put it off to the side. Let me try to learn these skill sets. And then I start. Well, what ended up happening is because I put it to the side, I did everything else. I was pregnant at that time. And I didn't invest time in the skill sets. But what happens when you force yourself to start? If I would have started that then, which I ended up doing it years later, 
I would have forced myself to learn those skill sets to be able to push that idea forward. You will morph yourself to become the man you need to be to fill the shoes of what you want to accomplish. You want whatever it is, start today.